Hello friends, welcome to Spicy Cat Colors. My name is Cappy. You are with me today to see a and hear a cat chewing on cardboard, if you can hear that. I apologize. Um, I actually gave the fur herd soft food, let them eat, and now I'm hoping they're going to like go into soft food coma and let me get some videos filmed. I need to kind of marathon film, as I call it, so I have some content to share. Um, so this video is a supply and book haul. I'm just doing it all in one. I'm going to call it my February haul, which as I look at it is way more than I should be considering I'm on a slow spend. Again, still need to film that goals video if the cats allow it and the battery lasts, I will be doing that um, tonight. So I have items from Dollar Tree, Amazon, Book Outlet, and a Wahoo Mail, as I like to call my Happy Mail. So before I get into it though, I wanted to tell you, I always say this at the end of my videos, which maybe you click off before then, which is perfectly fine. But for some reason on my heart, I feel there's somebody that needs to hear this. So if it is you, I am saying this specifically to you. And even if you don't need to hear it, it's nice to hear it. And what I want to tell you is you matter. Our world is crazy. Our lives are crazy. We forget to take care of ourselves. And sometimes we don't feel like we deserve to be taken care of. But I just want you to know that you matter. You make this world better. So whatever you're dealing with in life, hang in there and know that um, somebody, this crazy cat lady, my name's Kathy, by the way, um, I think you're pretty awesome. So let's do some of these from Dollar Tree because they're right in front of me. They're acting as a cat barricade. Ooh, you got a little sneaky peeky there. So did I need these? No. But did I want them? Yes. So did I buy them? Yes. I bought nine of them. Now, these were in like the Easter section, and I just, in my last, in my January haul, I bought two, which I can't reach them right now, were a little bit sturdier, thicker. Oh, seriously, and I just touched up a nail. Okay. Um, but these are so flipping pretty, and I love that they're this like, you know, design. So I have plans slowly getting organized. My main coloring space is in my living room here and I do have a coloring cart. Maybe someday I'll give it to her. It's going to be like a long hot minute before that happens. But in the meantime, I'm trying to get organized and I have a little, just like a two shelf cubby thing I plan to set up down here. And I thought this will be a nice way to organize. I will put the books on the shelves, but this way I could do it by like illustrator or theme. Um, I would have bought more, but there was a lady in the aisle when I first walked in and I saw her there on her phone and I saw them and there were more. There were um, like a mint green color and I don't know if it was a coral or a pink or maybe I got whatever this one is. Gabby, there's a barricade, hun. She is going to come in, fair warning. Um, and she grabbed both of the other colors. So I grabbed all nine of these and... Princess, you want to come say hello? Yeah, we need to give you some more haircut because you're still getting mats, even though, you know, it's growing in. We're not quite down to the skin anymore, but. Um, so I got those. Can I work around you here, babe? See, I cleared off the desk trying to make room. Yeah, maybe if we move that, she will sit towards the front. Maybe? We know she won't. So along the realm of storage, oh, good girl. Look at how polite she is. I also bought these. Now Dollar Tree always has tons of storage items and um, these I liked. I got four. They had them in blue and white and not very big, you can see, but um, I just want to like further organize so I can like grab whether it's, I don't know, my like stickles and glossy accents or my permanent markers. I just want them separated again to put on the cart. 
So I got four of those. And if they don't work, they will very well work in um, closet storage space. I have no idea for sure what I'm going to use this tool, but it was a piercing and scoring tool set. So it's actually got two needle, like pointy, like ouchy, be careful with this. Um, and then this side is a scorer. So like for folding paper, creating creases. So I got two of them for a dollar. And I do find when I use um, rhinestones or stickers or different embellishments, sometimes I don't want to use my fingernail or I can't get it. So I'm going to just put this in my pencil cup and use them for, um, yeah, sometimes you just need a pick. Then I found three washi tapes that I had not seen. These are different than the ones I got last year. Let's bring them in real close for you. So this is cute. I think they were like summery gumballs. And then here's some, I think that's like a gummy, gummy bear and candy. And some more. Also, I was hungry. I could share and show you the treats I bought, but the which are color and supply as well, right? So I use washi tape. If you've seen my finished pages, I use it along the border frequently. Um, I'm not trying to be fancy when I do that. I do it because I'm messy and I'm either covering up mistakes, usually covering up mistakes. I bought a new... Um, switch out. I got, by the way, this is just a placemat from Dollar Tree. I know I'm not the only one that uses these, but they're perfect to protect. Okay. My desk is literally a cardboard, cardboard, no card table they're called. Um, so it's not like I need to protect it that much, but it's just nice. And then it gives you something to look at when we're filming when we don't have Gabby's pretty face or her butt. So this is a lot thinner. Like this is really thin. But I really liked it. So I got a new little filming. And my table's black, so it won't be quite as obvious when I'm not lined up. Not that it matters, but I liked it. It was a dollar. So the other thing I love to get at Dollar Tree for my coloring is stickers. I They have an amazing assortment of stickers if you like to add stickers to your pages. Um, I just mentioned I used gems, I use um, in like medallions, I did some on dream catchers, I use little rhinestones for jewelry, and I use alphabet stickers for my a book belongs to pages. And Walmart, you can also get some for a dollar. Okay, Gabby is adjusting herself so she can chew on the corner of the new pink storage. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so these are just a 20, are they a 20? No, they're more than 26 because you get more of some of the letters. So they had some really cute, they had girly ones, boy ones. I thought this was really pretty. These are, I'm trying to make sure the lighting is decent here. Um, pink with little peace signs and hearts. And then I bought all of these they had in the store and I don't even feel bad because when you see them, you'll understand. I need to like redo any of my book belong pages because I now have the perfect, oh, sorry, Gabby, we're, we're adjusting the light here, but there's a rug in the way. Criminy. Real world problems, not a professional. Okay. Look at these that I got. Oh my gosh. They are all cats. Can you see them? You can see them. Are they not the flippin' adorable? Okay, this one this one is hilarious because that's totally me. Um, ate too much. <laughs> anyway, they're all cats and I love them. So I am Kathy with a C. I always say I'm a cat lady because it's built into my name. And I tend to collect them. So I, um, these are kind of large, but I'll make them work. Sometimes the, um, it's a little bit smaller space on your books, but we can make them work. And then the last thing I'm going to jump ahead in that I got two books, um, at the Dollar Tree again. If you have a dollar store, now these I'm actually bought as gifts. I'm preparing some, um, coloring 
care package to send someone then um that i know there's also kids in the house so if i'm sending mom some coloring care package i'm also going to send something for the kids so these were a dollar um but even that i mean the pictures are cute if you wanted to buy them for coloring so this one's kind of fun i'm just noticing that like the coloring pages are on the right and the activity pages are on the left so if you wanted to color with markers you very well could so this was a cute i have no idea who the rainbow corns are but um yeah they're cute oh my gosh they got a cat ah, okay and then some lol surprise um i know there's like i don't know not drama but controversy regarding these lol dolls i don't have kids so hopefully this mom knows it's just something fun to keep the kids occupied so those are the two like i said they're for my coloring care package i'm working on i next have a mcdonald's iced coffee caramel taking a sip okay next supply oh this was whoa oh gabby don't oh now she wants to like knock stuff down i forgot this is a different place <laughs> i have ordered from here before i used to get last year in 2020 they did um mystery boxes it's um imagination international is the name of the company um that ships it but it is marker universe is the website okay I got to hold on because she's going to um, knock everything down. Okay. Yeah, she was trying to, oh, 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 she gets mad and she'll bite me. Chew on and she actually already chewed the corner of the coloring book I would plan to send. Thankfully, my friend knows it happens. So they have coloring supplies. They don't have coloring books on this site. It's actually probably geared more towards um illustrators artists and the type but they have some good deals so i'm gonna push stuff to the side and oh okay one last random um this was just stuck in there so i didn't forget to show you i get these at dollar general they're really inexpensive they have a blue pack and a black pack and they have a multicolor pack I have used them in my coloring, the multicolor, and this is my favorite black, it's not a marker, it's a gel pen, to do my cleanup after I'm done coloring. A lot of times I need to go in and fix the lines. These work really well. Um, I like them better than, say, like a permanent marker, like a Sharpie or the pen and gear markers, because those will still bleed. These don't bleed, and I can make nice, crisp black lines. That's why those were there. Speaking of black lines, <laughs> I also like these for pretty much the same purpose. Really, we don't want Gabby to move here. Um, these are from Tombow. They are a mono drawing pen, water-based pigment ink marker in three different nib sizes. So always need some extra black. Um, these I actually use also to make notes um to write my like when i sign and date my pictures these were just open stock items i purchased i they carry like the full line of jelly rolls in sets or individuals i got a copper i don't think i had the copper sorry the camera's moving because my um tripe well, whatever, my arm pod, I call it, is attached to my table and Gabby's rolling around. But so this is copper. And then I picked up two more um, Jelly Roll Whites in 0.8 and 1. This is something I'm interested to try. Oh, I didn't know they were glittery. Can you see? Let's see if I can get one out here. So... I do have a bunch of the markers of this company, so it's still going to be a little shiny. You can see there's some sparkle in there, some glitter. So it is, um, I wanted to try this because I did receive this 
in my Arteza um, advent calendar and it's a metallic pearl white. It says it's a fabric color, but I've been using it for snow on paper and it works just fine. So this is similar. It is um, a Japan supply and they are not like a puffy paint, but it looks more like the opaque, kind of like that shimmery white, but I have them in pink, blue, orange, and purple. So just another fun way to add some different accents. I, so I'm thinking my husband let this company know I was on a, supposed to not be buying a lot because I had ordered two sets of these. They had them on sale and of course they had free shipping. So I wanted to get the Tombow. Hopefully this is the right kind. I know you can use them like as water markers, but my friend that I recently did a buddy color with said she used the Tombow water markers in her book and it was so amazing we were doing um in disney babies and mine looked like a hot streaky mess and hers looked like it was well it was professionally done so i had ordered the skin tone set and that was out of stock and they actually refunded me before this even shipped so i do really like this company i'll put a link to them down below not at all affiliated just um a place i like to look for supplies um, remember, I mean, I'm going to show you some Amazon stuff, but Amazon is not the end all be all. You can find better deals elsewhere. So, and sometimes it is Amazon, but it always pays to look around. So I am excited to try this and I will probably still go back and buy the, um, skin tone set if I like this. So maybe it's a good thing. We'll try these out, see if, how they, how they work. And then, oh yeah, so the other thing was when you spent $50, you had free shipping and they sent you a free, um, what'd they call it? A, hmm, basically a little grab bag gift or just a gift. So again, they were amazing because I thought, oh, I'm not going to get my grab bag because they ha my total didn't come out. No, they still gave me free shipping and they sent me, look at these amazing little cutesies for my freebies. Now these are going to be duplicates because I have purchased all of these from um, this what this company. Um, the, I have, I don't have them nearby, but I have, oh, where's my swatch book? I can show you. Oh, Gabby. Oh, can we try and... Oh, she's sitting on it. Excuse my arm, Gabby. She's like protectively watching it. I absolutely love this, which I saw Jamie at Jamie's Coloring Love has the same one. And I didn't, I had bought it not knowing she had it. But a little heads up, if you want to do a swatch book, you can buy like ones that are professionally made of swatch books. But if you get like a notebook journal from Amazon, it's going to be on Amazon paper. So your swatches, you will see, are similar to the, or I mean, then it's the Amazon quality. So these are the two wins. They have some that are scented. Um, and that is these. So I was trying to think. I got 063, which is this carnation color. Now the number just refers to... Um, the UPC number. So it does have a name, but it's not printed on here. So I got a bonus or a double for the carnation and I got a now I can't see the other ones. Hey, maybe I didn't have them all because I don't have either of these blues. Awesome. So that's what these are. They're like a sparkly um, marker. We got a kind of a little baby chisel tip. <laughs> Gabby just keeps looking at me. And a very fine bullet. Now these don't look like the ink has come down. Usually that would be fully... Let's check the other ones. Oh, maybe these are totally different. Let me see a scratch piece here. Oh my gosh, I need to put some stickers in this book belongs to. There's my scratch piece. Oh, no. This is just almost like a ballpoint. 
Okay. So I got those for my freebie. I'm going on forever. Oh yeah, here's the website. If it's going to show because it's holographic. Ah, doesn't show. Then I got another chameleon. I'm going to end up with like a full set of chameleons and still clueless. Okay, I get, this is my problem, friends. Um, so I get how you got your ends and you got two ends. And then this is the thing where it's got the cap. So this cap, there's no way to get to there. <laughs> like to get to that nib. This is permanently on there. I need to just look at a video instead of like explain this. And I know I would touch my, you know, this marker to there. The ink would absorb onto there. And then I could take a different marker and touch onto there and it would pick it up. I get that. But I have some of these caps where they're just the colors. I don't know. It seems like a whole lot of hullabaloo when I've got just some nice alcohol markers that work. So that was everything from Marker Universe that I purchased. Now we are on to the book portion of, ooh, that went really uh, fuzzy, um, book portion. Now first I have a lovely Wahoo mail that I won from the beautiful Shayna in Colorland. She had a um she had two books she was giving away and I had no idea that I would get it, but I did. First of all, I'm not going to show you the inside, but I have to show you the outside of this card it is so adorable. I make cards and I'm pretty sure I have a unicorn set. So I'm going to have to like just make my own um, <laughs> verse that says, you are freaking majestic. I absolutely love these are adorable. Thank you, Shana. And then the book I received was from High Coloring. It's the Mandala Coloring Book. So this is a new company. I'm going to link her channel down below. I'll actually link where she um, reviews and goes through the books and she can tell you about them. So they're a new company and she's been working with them and they've been taking her feedback and I'm excited to see what they come up with. So there are um, mandalas with a very nice little verse in the middle. So... Black backgrounds, Amazon paper. It's a nice bright white paper book I have to share with you. Then I will do my two from Amazon because they just arrived today. Now, I am proud to say in 2021, this is the first coloring book order I have made on Amazon. Not in general, but on Amazon. And these were not expensive. And let me just show you them. I think this is new. I don't know. I have really enjoyed seeing the other um, Eclipse Circulism art books. There's like a marine life and there's some animals. And I don't have any of them. Um... But I've wanted to try some, and then I saw they had this, they have two different mandala books, and this one is shaded, so it's kind of like that 3D, you can see, and then there's like a color background, and this is like shiny paper, again, probably everybody else, you're on the bandwagon, you know all about this company, so I am very thrilled to try these out. The only negative is the color. This is color. It's color by number. Um, obviously, break the rules if you want and do whatever you want. And the color palette is only on the back or here on the front. So it's kind of tricky to go back and forth. I need to remember to like bring this and get a color copy, make a color copy of it. And then I can just have it to pull out. But um excited to try these. I love doing mandalas, and um, these are all circular ones. So that is a fun new book. And then this I saw, not this specific book. Now, I cannot remember who had the first one, but Danielle over at Danny Buttons referred to them. She had saw another channel share a book. 
And there's like a whole series. Do they tell us who the series is? No. With different animals. And, oh, that's so cute. Um, Danielle, which one did you get? Because you did not get the cat one. So it's a travel, and I think it's there's like a dog, and maybe it's a sloth. Honestly, I don't know. Check them out. Again, I will leave a link to this book, and then you can search by the illustrator, um, artist, Coco Wayu. Um, no idea how you say that. But this is Time to Travel with a Baby Cat. Now, I think I'm going to do a... Um, flip through. My, it'll be my very first flip through just because this is very new and I have not seen a lot. But so here it is. This little cat is traveling all over the world getting into adventures. And um, Danielle will have to compare because you had mentioned and I don't think they are the same. We thought, oh, maybe like the animal. So it's like baby dog is going to all the same places and it's just that the animal is replaced but I don't think that's the case I think maybe they're all just going and it makes me smile because my husband and I are huge roadside attraction geeks and this is exactly the type of pose we would do if we were in Pisa absolutely the classic you know I'm holding it up we um interact oh tacos okay this is gonna be a good one um, and we don't just, you know, stand in front and smile because I don't know, life is too short to just stand in front and smile. Now this one, they are, but no, got to interact. Ooh, that's a scary one. Ugh. Although the birds are running, it is a cat. So basically I just kind of gave you a quick little flip through, but these are so adorable. I cannot wait to color in this and I'm so worth buying it because I think it was $4, $3.99 really. I just, I can't remember the other animals that it has. Okay. And then we have a book outlet order. Now, again, didn't need these, but I had some credits. Thanks. You, thank you. Those of you that have used my link, if you have not ordered from book outlet before, I will have a link down again with all the other links down below where you can Click the link, um, use my code, and you get $10 off, and then I get $10 credit to buy more stuff. And then once you purchase, you get your own link to share with your friends. It's amazing, but it just, you know, it forced me to shop. So I got a pretty good, there's only, I think, one I was disappointed in, but let's start out with the little mini here. I have seen other people do these or get these. I know this is like the mini mini size. There is one that's a little bit larger. I think they're eight by eight. So I got the I Heart Unicorns from this series. I'm trying to think who is the artist? Is there an artist? Illustrated by Jesse Eckel. And they are just super cute. Everything is a unicorn. So, very simplistic, not simplistic, but um, I kind of like them. I mean, I have all the Lulu Mayos. I've colored in one, but I think I actually like these better because one, they're one-sided. The other side is wallpaper, so you can use whatever medium you want, and that's the biggest thing for me. The Lulu Mayo ones are double-sided, which it's not that they're bad. It's just for someone that's you know, basically a marker girl. <laughs> I don't reach for them, but I cannot wait. We'll get some of these done. It will be beautiful. I heart unicorns. And of course I did not pay the price. They have really good deals. Thing with book outlet, it's kind of like at Dollar Tree. If you shop there, when you see it, if you want it, get it. Cause it may not be there the next time you come. So I got... Let's see what we can get out. Gabby's protecting them. Whoa! And I just knocked them over on her. She's going to be so pissed. Oops, sorry. Adult language. She's going to be mad. Okay, so here we go. I moved them. So she could, in theory, move forward, but she's not going to. Okay, so now I'm holding the books on my lap. 
So this is a Zen Doodle Deborah Muller book. I have several of Deborah's. Um, Deborah, like we're best friends. Okay, Ms. Muller, Deborah Muller's books from the Zen Doodle series. Uh, I have not colored in one of them. Just saying, it's a bad thing. So this I bought, it's called The Mother's Love. I have, it's been, gosh, how long? 2009 is when I lost my mom and she and I were very close, only daughter. I miss her a lot. And I have another book that I enjoy coloring in whenever she's on my mind a lot. But I wanted something that's a little bit different. And this is definitely different. And it has, um, every page has a quote or a little saying of some sort. So this will be a fun one just to do in general. But for sure when I'm having those moments where I'm missing my mom, which is pretty much all the time. So... Oh, Gabby moved. Oh, she's going to go. There's a box. Actually, it's the book outlet box is on the floor. So she's going to check that out. Here's the one I was not. Oh, there's my packing slip. I wasn't thrilled with. Thing with book outlet, they do not really give you a preview. They'll show you the cover. You need to do your own research if you want to see what it is. This one I took a risk on. It was not very expensive. In fact, I was just trying to get to the free shipping and it's a Halloween Heroes with Disney Pixar. It comes with these crayons. I think I'm going to tuck it into that um, coloring care package. Um, it's pretty bent up. <laughs> and again, my friend won't care because that just can happen in real life and with kids. But it's cute. It's got um, a sheet of stickers. And then there's the four different stories, I guess. And then there are um, puzzle, you know, kind of pages, coloring pages, just a nice activity book. The paper's not total, like, it's pretty thin, but it's not, like, I always consider it the recycled paper a lot of coloring books have. So, like I said, this will be fine in my care package. And that was, it's just because it was pretty bent up. But again, that's part of the risk. That's what happens when we do the risk. So this is, um, who did I see? Somebody helped. I think it was Donna at um, Coloritaville had bought this and I do enjoy Jane Davenport's artwork. I hope to someday have all of her pastel sets, but this is a happy hour art journal. It's called, it's got specialty art, art papers, stickers, drawings to paint, color and customize. So it's not like a traditional coloring book and look at that 1995 retail price did not pay that I still paid you know more than some so these are stickers at the back I'm not making a mess I'm making a life that's what I need for a base here and these are papers that you could use in um, collaging or um, journaling or just to look at and then this is like watercolor so it's kind of separated into different papers so there's this set of illustrations on watercolor paper where I can do whatever I want you can see on the other side she has some examples I don't know if that's her original artwork I would assume so but um so there's watercolor and then it switches to just a white cardstock it's not super thick and again, so I can do whatever I want. I can sketch more, I can just color. There's a nice little quote on the other side. It's going to kind of do a really flip. Then we've got this like almost what I would call recycled paper. It's pretty thin, but uh, whew, I forgot to say all of these pages are also perforated. So if you wanted to pull them out, you could. Um, it's just kind of a really neat concept for a book, whether you, like I said, use it as a coloring book, just an inspiration, 
I think it's really cool. It'd just be fun to do as a journal. Like I can color this and then I can add my own um, things over the top if I want. So yeah, I'm really excited to dive into this. Quite a bit of this white paper more. And I'm, trying to, I'm just zooming through here, trying to see what's different then. So the biggest section is the whitish paper. And then here it's like, uh, you're supposed to keep track of your time that you do this a little bit. Um, you know, how to use the book. Again, it's your book. Do whatever you want. So very exciting. This is a fun addition to my collection. Okay, then three more books and one more project. So I bought Color Quest Wonderland, an extraordinary seek and find coloring book for artists. Got this on a whim and I am actually pretty excited. It is Chelsea Geldine, Geldine, Geldine. So I am a puzzle, like crossword, um, word search, um, some Sudoku. Okay, that's about me, it, it for puzzles. But this whole um, book is basically, think of like the word search concept, but it's a image search. So they have your, so like this one is called purse. So it's pretty much all these things that could be found in your purse. Chips, yes, library card, you know it, ketchup packet, Mm, dicey chapstick so and then down on the bottom are they just list the words they don't show you what the actual image looks like so they give you the word and you have to find it so I envision that I will do this and I will color the items first so I can finish the puzzle and then I can go ahead and keep coloring and just color in the whole thing it's one of those um some gel pens some pencils some fine liners just a little I want to say mindless because I'm not going to look to like have a masterpiece by the end I want to like find my images and then maybe color some more or not but there's quite a few in here so I don't know if it tells me how many I'm always interested how many I don't see a how many but very um fun I think I've got a different one from this color quest and just oh there's 50 in here so that'll keep me busy then we have another pretty big one wonders of creation illustrations to color and inspire and this is from zondervan 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 i think this is one donna got as well and it is um two-sided but it is lovely animals, all different kinds, pretty zendooly, zendoodly, entangly. Um, but again, you can, but then, you know, some, there's just my hippo. You can do these however you want, gel pen. I always remind people if you're intimidated by like um, this image, and you're like oh i have all these little pieces well you can color the whole um seal one color you don't have to do all this you know a lot of times i'll marker base the or a section of the image or like i'd mark, marker base the seal and then i might go in with a gel pen or two and just pick up a few spots so you can do it however you want you don't have to color each individual little piece you can if you want to but you could even take a black Sharpie and just make the legs solid black. It's your book, your creation. Do what you want. <laughs> As I always say, break the rules. And the last whoo, coloring book I have is Denise Klet Kletty. Is that how you say it? Klet. Um, another Zen Doodle. I guess I'm in a Zen Doodle mood. I should maybe color some. Mermaids in Paradise. I have seen... Jamie, was this the one you did during Buddy Colorathon? And I didn't have it, so I did a different mermaid. Um, 
I could totally be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Anyway, these are absolutely adorable. I know I've seen it on other channels. They are single-sided, a nice paper, them not, not perforated. Some of them do go a little close into the gutter, like it's going to be pretty hard to color that. But again, I can do it. And I just thought they're so cute and pretty and fun. So I, like I said, I've seen a lot of people color in this book and I had to have it. So I bought it. Mermaid in Paradise. And then the last item is not a coloring book. And I know that Donna also bought this. So Donna was the enabler for my book outlet order. But she has the unicorn. I bought the tiger. Crystal Creations. I do have a couple diamond paintings. I have not completed. I have one I started, honestly, at least two years ago. It is not even close to done. Uh, you've seen what it's like with Gabby just to try and do a haul or to share anything on the channel. Can you imagine trying to diamond paint with her? So I wanted to try this and I actually already tried it. So this Crystal Creations, these were not, I don't know how much they retail for. It's from Hinkler.com. Um, I did search for them and the price was similar. I think it was like around $14 on Book Outlet, which they have like games and toys and all kinds of different things out there. But what I love is this is like sit on my lap. So how it's set up, you've got all your drills over here and your wax and your, I don't know what it's called, stylus. I think it's got a real name. That's not what it is. And then it shows your color combos. And then your canvas is actually like a piece of cardboard. And it's just the tiger is where I'm going to put the drills. And then I started. So you can see I put those in. I was working on... I don't even remember which one I was working on now. This one. <laughs> but um, I need to figure out a better way to do it. So how, I mean, in theory, this should work. And this is the last thing I'm going to show. So if you don't want to see this, well, you probably already clicked out. So this lifts off and it acts as like your lid, but it's not like it comes off super easy. So I am not going to open all my bags and dump them in here because it's a little tricky. I opened this bag, whoa, and <laughs> obviously didn't reseal it or anything. And I would just put some of the, whoo, the drills right in here. And then I was sitting in the recliner watching TV doing this but depending where they're at, they like can pop and fly out. So, I mean, it works, but again, I'm just planning to like not dump them all in or maybe find a different container to keep them in. We'll figure it out. And then, but the nice thing is say, so when I was done working on it, I just put this back in the place and then this closed it all down to keep it all intact. I could close it, you know, put down my sheet and it's good. It's supposed to somehow work to do extend the back stand to display. So I'm not sure yet how that works. If you, yeah, I'm not always the smartest when it comes to these things, but there you go. I'm excited. I'm, it might be my only <laughs> diamond painting that I do until I actually have a space where I can shut a door and keep the cats out. But, you know, kind of like having them around as well. So that is everything I have purchased for the month of February or received. Thank you again, Shayna, for sharing that on your channel. And here we go. We're going to switch this right out. Got to get rid of the blue one, though. So, Thank you for stopping by. Let me know if you have any of the same um, books I purchased or any Dollar Tree, you know, any type of supply things on the El Cheapo 
Um, I'm always looking for that. Although, again, I'm trying not to spend, but that video, it, it's coming, I promise. It's going to be here. So thank you guys. Again, if you have stuck around, you get to hear it twice because I mean it twice as much. And just want to know how blessed you have made my life because you truly matter. This world is a brighter place because you are in it. Never, ever, ever, ever doubt that. Um, well, I can't tell you to never, ever doubt it because I've doubted it about myself before, but I do know that I would much rather be here in this world than not. And even on my bad days, I do know I've made a positive impact somewhere in the world. So I want you to know you have done that for me. Thank you, friends. I will see you in the next video.